In the fourth step of our how-to, we're now going to do in Windows what we did in Debian. That is, when Windows starts and stops, we get a, an email notification. We're going to use the same Gmail SMTP. Go to a command prompt, IP config, and I'm just taking note of this machine to connect. Going to copy two tools. The first one is send email, one with TLS support. It is a zip file, no installer. Extract all. I've been using this for years and years, and I have never experienced a problem. I'm going to place this in root for this example. And the next software. I'm going to use is Estanil. And Estanil is a proxy designed to a TLS encryption functionality to existing clients without any changes in the program scope. These two programs are going to work together to give me the same functionality as the Postfix mail utility we had in Debian. And I'm done. If I go into program files x86 and I look in the external directory and I open external config and I scroll down, I will find that there is an entry for uh, Gmail, it listens on port 25 and connects to Gmail on port 465. Everything has been set automatically. For a stunnel to work, we need to install it as a service and after installing as a service pull up the entry there is an option to start it from the menu i'm just going to go here to show you where it is tls wrapper and let's start we can close this we are done with these two and i'm going to head on to send email going to add a batch file i'm going to call it email txt i'll re rename that later on let's walk through it this nd email save it localhost 25 we reference that from username and password to you can have multiple tools dash t dash t dash t if you want to send to more than one that is the subject and here we're going to pass a parameter and with the option tls auto let's save that close here and rename this cmd do i want to change yes and i'm here i have email and as a parameter i'm going to say test hit enter email was sent successful let's see if we have an email and yes we do i go into group policy editor windows settings under computer configuration scripts start up and shut down let's go and start i'm saying add i'm going to go into email and the parameter is started okay apply okay and the same thing with shut down add and email and this time shut down okay okay and i'm going to tile everything together and I'm going to start Windows, restart now. Proxmox is restarting. We have VM100 has started. If I shut down the virtual environment, I expect to see a number of emails generated. The expectation is that Proxmox is going to shut down Windows, which will in turn send an email. And after the VM100, the Windows server has shut down, Proxmox will shut down itself and in that process also send a second email. Let's do that. We hit shut down. I say yes. I'm dragging the VM machine here. VM has shut down. That got triggered. Now, as you can see, the email related to Proxmox having shut down doesn't get triggered. And if I start 
you will notice that the start email will be preceded by the shutdown email. It's held in queue, but doesn't make it uh, out of the door. If anyone has a solution that uh, can resolve this matter, please share. I hope to see you for the fifth part, this being the installation of the NAT UPS software.